Hello there, I am Johnny Grodd with more Mario Kart 64. This is the finale part, part 4. We are doing the special cup. Last time we did the star cup and I only got silver. So like, if you see I got silver in the star cup, I got gold in the flower cup, I got gold in the mushroom cup as well, in the last two parts after that. After the last part of course, and I got gold on this one, so I'm gonna actually maybe do a bonus video on me trying to do Star Cup again just to get silver. And I think if you get all gold on 150cc, you get mirror mode in this game. I think that's how it goes. But I'm not, I'm, maybe a bonus video, and this might not actually be the finale. But I don't know. We'll have to see. But we're gonna focus on Special Cup, which consists of DK's Jungle Parkway, Yoshi Valley, Banshee Boardwalk, and Rainbow Road. Now, really, the only track I have trouble with in this cup is Banshee Boardwalk because all the turns are like sharp turns because they're square turns and it's really just annoying as heck. I didn't get the boost. Oh man. But here's DK Jungle Parkway. It's pretty, it's okay. I mean it could be better but we're not gonna complain because it could be a lot worse. You start off with this cool jump. Um, if you go into the grass right here, the, the coconuts will f hit you until you um, go back on the dirt track, which is can which can be really annoying. So watch out for that. Just know that that's true. That can be there. Yeah. None of those red shells went straight. They all went for the wall. Are they trying to like kill themselves or something? It's actually quite bad. Just poor shells. Poor red shells. But yeah, I got a star right here. And I got some. I got like five bananas right there. It's, here's a little shortcut I, t I like using. Right there. It works if you have the right speed added up, but if you have a mushroom, it's even better because it'll be faster for you. And I should be using these if there's a jump and then the shells go in the water after the jump. Huh, <laughs> silly on me. Watch out for that boat because if you if you hit that boat, it'll actually you'll actually go flying in, into the water. And I slipped in that banana peel and I get I didn't get an item. Of course I didn't. Yeah, this is going great, guys. I'll, I'll show for example, if I go in the grass, you see these coconuts will freaking hit me. But they look like chestnuts, actually. I don't know. DK Jungle Parkway is kind of weird. Okay, a zap at 4th, that's nice. Pa I'm passing Peach. Bowser is really. Bowser has quite a lead, but I see him now. I didn't get an item. That could have really helped. That could have really helped. I can pass him using this little thing right here. Ha. Huh. Too bad the. Too bad the computers aren't unable to do the shortcuts and stuff. So you can use that to your advantage. You slipped on your own banana peel, Peach. You threw it forward and you slipped on your own banana peel. Where'd it go? Toad? The, you better not say princess. Thank you, Mario Luigi. But the princess is in her castle. You better not pull that crap on me. That's what I get for making fun of him. I slip on a banana peel. I got a banana tail, everyone. Haha. <laughs> Wipe out. Come on, Toad. No. No, I want. I. Oh my gosh. Can't use this red shell here because it's too narrow. I'm gonna have to redo the track, aren't I? I'm definitely gonna have to redo the track now. Come on. Yoshi, B back it up, back it up, back it up. Okay, I still can get in six and be in a good starting place for the next part, for the next race. Well, when I have to do this race, I meant to shoot that backwards. So all the all the things fell apart when freaking Toad um passed me and I made fun of him and then I slipped in bad peel and after that that was all just downhill. Anyway, see so you guys at the uh when I get to like the bridge of the third lap. Ay ay ay. Okay, um, I was quiet there for a second, but I caught him first. How nice. So I thought I was quiet, I forgot to, I was going to the bridge, so there'll just be a part with no commentary at that point. So I apologize for that, but we came in first, so that's all that matters. Oh yeah. So after a good start, when the, we're in the lead by six, and our main rivals are just Peach and Wario, and possibly Toad, but, you know. But Luigi, Dicky, Bowser, and Mario are not going to be... Uh, problem, if to say the least, because they have zero points starting off. Really, all four of them. 
Okay, Yoshi's Valley. I actually like this one a lot. When I was a little kid, I got really frustrated because I tried to do the mega awesome super shortcut, like the long, the easiest way with this narrow, the, with this narrow bridge. Uh, I'll show it for the first lap. But if you go left and then you go right here, this is a little narrow right here, and don't fall off, don't fall off. Okay, good, I didn't fall off. But this is like the shortest way. But uh, oh my gosh, I must fall off. Dang it. But yeah, it's where it's like a mystery. Um. Line up because you can't, you don't see where he's first, but you can kind of use the map at the bottom right screen. It's about time I use this golden mushroom, but yeah, I can use the map at the bottom right screen, and it really helps. Um, if you know what to look for, and I fell off, then you'll find it easy. So yeah, and mushrooms aren't really a friend in this race because I best I just speeded my way off to the freaking valley and fell, and my and my blue shell hit the bridge wall, so I should wait for that. So, I'm, so as, I'm like in 6th right now, or 7th, because like, I know whoever that purple guy at the bottom right corner of the screen, that's who's in 8th. So I'm always in 6th by now. I'm almost, I, I don't know, I don't want to estimate because I might be wrong. And that blue shell hit the wall. But this is the way I usually go, I go right here, and I cross this bridge right here, and dodge the porcupines, even though that they're not made of pork. Yeah. Okay, I got a star now. I like being in the lead for this one because you know you're like secure and you know that it's um oh my gosh that it's okay oh my god you stupid son of a beast snatch come on I don't want to redo this track this track is really easy for me now except for when I was a kid I got really frustrated because I always fell off and that and by the way that egg right there that big egg can squish you and you have a go if you have a golden mushroom or like three mushrooms that'll be really easy this is like a shortcut I found out just cut through the grass I don't know what place I am now. I think I'm in like third or something, if I had to guess. Come on. And all those red shells. Okay, now I get more red shells. Thanks, game. Ah! Okay, I almost fell off. Glad I didn't. I should have waited to use the star. Okay. Second isn't bad though. I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. I mean, I would game in first easily, but I kept on falling off. But I'm pretty lucky I got in second this time around. I'll just take it and go. Okay, so there's Yoshi Valley for you guys. That's actually probably one of my favorite racetracks in this game. Because it's just so, you know, the sunset's pretty and it's a good track. It's good for when you're playing with your friends. It's funny to see them fall though sometimes. Because there's some. You saw the parts with no rails or anything to help you. Okay, Banshee Bullock. I'm gonna have to read this about three times, but that's the way I said about Royal Raceway in the last part, and I got in like one take, I got in first. So let's see. Okay, Banshee Bullock is absolutely hell. I'm gonna say that now. See, like, this is a square turn, you hit the wall, you're guaranteed to like hit the rails, and that slows you down. No item there. And that's not even the worst part yet. I'll get to the worst part. There's the flying fish that she at the award ceremony, by the way. But like, here, you have to take it really slow, so if you have a star or a golden mushroom, it's gonna suck. I always have to take it slow though because I can't make those turns perfect. Thank you for taking that dead box. So yeah. Another thing about Yoshi's Valley is that's the only racetrack where it's like a mystery where you don't see who's the top four or who's or, or your place really. So I think the game creators just added that just to add some spice to the game or to this Grand Prix track or cup or yeah this cup. Now, I'm not sure if the booze right here steal your items, but they may. Like, I've had them steal, I think, one of my items before, but that was a really long time ago. Okay, this place sucks with mushrooms and red shows because there's too many walls that stop you and slow you down. Squish DK. Uh, no, I, I pressed B, I pressed B. Okay, that, that works because DK got smushed anyway, which I wanted to do that. Okay, I need to really pick up my space because this is the second lap and it's getting very serious. Come on. Oh my gosh, I get hit by stuff. Of course I do. See, I haven't fallen off once yet. I'm in seventh for the second lap. I'm doing actually pretty well for me. I didn't get at him there. But I'm like six. Bowser's just beating me right now. No, Bowser isn't. Haha, <laughs> because I'm in fifth. 
some of these square turns you can't even nail without hitting the rail. This is really annoying. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see that there until it's too late. You said B button, okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys keep on taking my item boxes. How can they just fell off? <laughs> I have one last chance to turn this around. I need to get an item. It's crucial that I do. No! Come on, come on, come on, come on. No! I have a good chance at this if I try. Last stretch of the race. Okay, I'm gonna throw the race. Sorry, guys. I was just, I didn't fall off once yet. I did that bad, and I usually fall off this track a lot, like three or four times total. It's my like average. If that makes any, I don't know if that's like my average exactly, but you know. See you guys at the end of the third lap. Hopefully, I do better next time. No. Okay, I don't care if I got fourth. I mean, I already got a gold trophy in this one, but like I fell off once and that cost me fourth, and I was like in second. I don't, I haven't even been in first in this race for that for that um, attempt. Which kind of sucks. Just like the last attempt, actually. Wow. Oh, I thought I was in the lead there for a second, so I'm still gonna get gold, or uh, not gold, but silver. Uh, hey, if I if I beat if I get first in Rainbow Road, I still get gold. Because if Peach is behind me in second and I get first, I get plus 3, that makes it 19, and then uh, plus 9, and I don't know. We'll have, we'll have to see the math when we do this. But Rainbow Road is my one of my favorite tracks in this game. Because, like, for once, this Rainbow Road has, like, a rail so you don't fall off. Now, you can overjump this and fall off the edge, which can be a painful experience, but, you know, as long as you're careful. But I also love playing this with my friends and my cousins, actually, when I'm at 64 Like, we'd say, oh, I'm at Mario, oh, I'm at Luigi, Toad's at the end, Yoshi's in the middle. And we'd always say, like, where we're at. And the music in this racetrack is just beautiful. I mean, I think what, this is probably one of my favorite Rainbow Roads. It's so basic, and it's for the Mario Kart 64, for the N64, but it's just so fun. And watch out for the chain chomps. I, what I always do is slide to the very side of what of the opposite way it's coming so it doesn't hit me. So that's how I get rid of it, really. Oh, I didn't know shells got canceled out um, that fake item boxes like that. Yeah, but this place is just so awesome. I mean, for once, a rainbow road that's really not frustrating. It's awesome. It's really nice, too. I really like how the game developers and game makers did this. Because it was such a big success in my eyes. I mean, this was what 3D um, Rainbow Road looked like before the Super but after Super Circuit, you know? It had like a good 3D feel, kinda. Even though it's not quite 3D, it's still something. I think you can only shoot those f the shells that go around you forward. So yeah. Okay, there we go. Mushrooms. Okay, Mario is up ahead quite by a bit. If you see on the bottom right corner of the screen. Also, if I can do this. Also, if you press the C, C buttons on your controller, I have to do it on the cost controller the the right analog stick or the right control stick to do with my C up C ups. Um, there's different camera angles that, and then there's also a speed meter that I saw like right here to see how fast you're going. But I like the map better, and I like the better camera angle like this one this camera angle but yeah just something to put out there because I never showed this in the let's place so I'm glad I remembered it it's actually a really nice feature but I like seeing the little map too especially in Yoshi's Valley where you can't have, see what, what place you're in and who's in the top four on the on the left of your screen it really helped so I like this one and I like seeing the designs and the drawings for all the um base tracks you know I don't know what the drawing of the Rainbow Road um, track is there right now. It's kind of weird. It looks like a flag or something. I don't know. Not quite. Uh, that hit me. Uh, I got hit by my green shell. Man, Mario's up way ahead. Someone needs to get a blue shell or something. Now I have to catch up the toad. Ah, oh, man. I gotta like, stop the log again, if you know what I mean. Uh, it's common that the red shells always hit the wall on this racetrack. 
So, you know, just keep that in mind. I want to at least come in second, making sure Peach comes in third. So, that's also a good deal. Ah, okay. So far, I haven't hit, hit, got hit by a single chain chomp yet, which is really nice. Oh, a zap at third. See, the zaps are really common in good places. A third, a zap at third, that's pretty nice. But in the later Mario games, they're not that common! Ah, oh, man, that's frustrating. Come on, Toad. There's no way I can catch up to Mario. Look how freaking close, look how far Mario is on the map. It's crazy. Okay, good, I got a little boost out of that. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're on my tail again. Dang it. You took my freaking item box. I shouldn't be stalking you, princess. And if by stalking, I mean going right behind her. Driving right behind her. No! Oh my god, I need an item. I need an item, man. Mario's still up ahead. Mario's rocking it right here. Come on, Toad, let me touch you with my green shells. Boy, that'll happen. Cool, I'll take it. Okay, there's Mario. That's gonna backfire. No! 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 No, I saw Mario there. It was so close. Okay, we still got some more of the race left in this lap. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh, you need an item to succeed. Boy, good luck with that. <laughs> okay, Mar I saw Mario, but Mario regained his lead, which kind of sucks. But as long as I come in third, or second, and Peach comes in at least third, right behind me, I should still win the gold. Man, I should train for the Olympics with that game, with this game. No, I'm just kidding. It get me pumped up, though. There's no video games in the Winter or Summer Olympics. Nope, that's not, it's just not happening. Okay, I have one last chance to turn this around. I need to get this item box. Whatever it'll be. Fudge. Throw in the race. Ah, <sighs> that was just bad. I mean, at the end, that was just bad. I'm gonna have to see you guys, um, when I get the, um, when I get to the end of third lap again. I'm sorry for this, guys. It sucks. I know. Okay, we're coming up to the final stretch of the race. Toad is way up ahead. He's gonna get first. Hopefully I get second. I have two red shells. Pitch is right behind me. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice. She was gonna sneak past me there, but I had a red shell to do her in. <laughs> if that makes any sense. It's not sexual. It's not supposed to be sexual. So hopefully I can't go Let's see. Yep, I got gold. Oh yeah. So I got gold on all cups except for the Star Cup, which kind of sucks. So I might have to do the Star Cup as a bonus video. And maybe it'll count as a part, like called retrying freaking Star Cup or something. But, you know, as usual, we get our first place spot, really, except for the last part. <laughs> So yeah, I'm pretty. I don't know if I'm gonna redo the Star Cup though. I'm gonna keep it at four points for this let's play. I don't know. I'm gonna make it a bonus video and still count as a part. I just don't know. But, yeah. So again, the green dinosaur tramped over all. Second is the pink princess, and then third is the speedy toad mushroom guy. <laughs> oh yeah. Looks like I'm going home with the gold, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, just look at that. And, you know, I like the sparkles that like flash like different colors. That's like my favorite sparkles. But I'm pretty sure I didn't mention that before in this let's play. So yeah, Yoshi's so happy. Okay, but this is the end of the video because yes, that's right. It's the credits. Oh yeah. 
So I just want to reflect back on this Let's Play. It's been a really good ride. Four episodes, four parts, so yeah. It's very nice. I really like this Let's Play a lot. I hope you guys did. I hope I, I made custom thumbnails ahead of time for this Let's Play. This whole Let's Play, which is really nice. Uh, so, just enjoy the music, and what else do I have to say? Um, the next Let's Play actually will be Mario Kart Double Dash. We're going up to the GameCube, baby. I won't tell you who I won't tell you who I'm gonna use for my combination. So just know that I'm gonna play Mario Kart Double Dash all four cups in that game at 150 CC as well. So that'll be fun. Mario Kart Double Dash is actually my favorite Mario Kart game. I like it more than this game, 64 Mario Kart 64. I like it more than Mario Kart Wii, and I like it. Well, I haven't played Mario Kart 8. By the time this is uploaded, Mario Kart 8 will be at least. I think it'll be at least if it comes out on May 30th. Yeah. And for all you guys, I know that I've been on YouTube for almost five years, and I only have twelve. I only have one thousand two hundred sixty-five subscribers as of me recording this, of what I know now. But like, I think the problem is when I was my first like six months, I didn't have any videos on my YouTube channel, none at all, because I made my YouTube account in July of two thousand nine, but I didn't start making videos till like January of two thousand ten, which, which when which was when I got my camcorder and I started recording Ruby. That's my first walks of guide. But I think the problem is that like I didn't I don't, I don't get much traffic going on my channel and I don't, like my content isn't always that interesting. I don't do new content like for the Wii U. I did I did late walkthroughs. I kind of did stuff that everyone else has been doing. I kind of haven't been doing anything that like is makes my channel unique really. Cause all the let's plays and walkthroughs I've done so far, so many people have done walkthroughs on them way before me and kind of people just don't rewatch them unless they really like the youtuber style and they watch them for entertainment of course and I get a lot of comments on saying thank you you helped me through this spot so and so especially in my Pokemon games like it also helps I get the love and support but I, I just don't get the views I mean I'm okay with that because like I don't get much traffic as I said I don't put out new content on the new systems, like I don't even have a Wii U, so I can't do New Super Mario Bros. U, or Nintendo Land, or, new, uh, or Super Mario 3D World, or Mario Kart that's, that's coming out and it should be out by the time this is uploaded. Like, I don't get that. So, it's okay, I mean, I'd be patient with my viewers and stuff. So it all works out in the end. Thank you, Mario. Thank you, Mario. See you later. But yeah, as I was saying, like, that that's like... Okay, I'm okay with that, and hopefully later I might get a boost in traffic or something that like I get more views and stuff. Like I, my most viewed video has like 34,000 plus views, but that's because um it's really popular and it was the ground on video. Uh, I think it's not, not even the ground on video anymore. I think it's the part before it actually. I don't know, but yeah. Okay, um, and I'm fine with just having a lot of subscribers. I mean, I, like, I know I've been on YouTube for five years. People who have been on YouTube for like three or four years have way more subscribers than me. That's okay. I mean, I, I, I continue to put like content out for you guys. And I'm not even a YouTube partner, so I don't even make money off it. I do it just for you guys. And that's okay. Because I like making you guys happy and entertained as a walkthrough and let's player. And I, I'm very... I, some people call me underrated, and I'm okay with that. I mean, you know... I just didn't get the right boost at the beginning, cause like your first impressions do count when you make a new YouTube channel. And mine were very bad quality videos, but over the years I got really better in the quality and commentary and all that. And my voice got deeper, and st people stopped making fun of me for that, and I'm okay with that, I just don't take it seriously. But yeah, that's all I have to say, and hopefully this covered everything, and I may do a part 5 of we do of Star Cup at 150cc, we'll have to see it. So thank you everyone who watched my Let's Play of S of Mario Kart 64. I will see you guys all next time. I'll see you guys in part 5 if I make part 5 on the redo of Star Cup at 150 CD. Or I'll see you in the first part of my Mario Kart Double Dash Let's Play. Thank you all for watching. This has been Jonko again. I would like to thank you all again. Goodbye. And hope to see you guys in my next video.